welcome back to Blast Backstage. We're here in the kingdom of Bahrain because it's nearly time for the Blast Pro Series Global Finals. And I'm with team number four of four, Astralis are here. We've got Magic's device and we've got Coach Sonic on the end. And we've also got a couple of other members of Astralis who are currently over in the Betway Aim Challenge area. <laughs> and they're getting ready. Glaive there. I mean, uh. he's only really playing against himself right now, but I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. So he's going to be teaming up with Dupree, and they're going to be taking on a relay format of the Blast Aim Challenge. So it's the same map you'll be familiar with if you've seen Blast Backstage before. Our teams essentially have to go through a series of rooms, and they have to shoot everyone there, and the door or the vent will open, and they'll be able to go into the next room. But right now, our teams, our players, are going to go one after the other. So then we're going to combine their score, and the team with the shortest score overall is going to win. It's quite simple, really. To be honest, I probably made it sound even more complicated than it actually is. Yep. Are they ready to go? I'm just having a peek. Yeah. Do you think they're ready? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's Omen, so of course they're ready. They're of, of course, yeah. It's, it's, it's very fine kit, if I do so so myself. Yeah. Right then, boys. Glaive is going to go first. Free is going to go second. Let's see how Astralis do in their final aim challenge of the year. Three, two, one, and go. What the hell? <laughs> Glaive knew. Look, look at that little smile. Look at that smile. Oh, for fent points, nimble. See, if he spent less time playing with the snowballs and more time with the AK, then, then maybe yeah, he's more one taps right now. Difficult to resist. <laughs> oh. I thought he was such a serious young man. I think, to be honest, I'm, I'm looking more at Dupree in the background. <laughs> you failed. Really embarrassed. Oh. Did you get it? No, it's higher. No, the other one, the other one to Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Get in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really passing the embarrassing voice. Oh, Did shit. I wonder, I wonder, like, how You have to cut 10 seconds off. off. Yeah, every ball. The question is, is Dupree also going to do the ball? Are they in, the, in cahoots together? There we go. So that's, I mean, <laughs> why are we encouraging that kind of behavior, guys? Why are we applauding <sighs> throwing balls? You know what? It's all about participating, win or lose, with the same mentality. It's just about participation and having fun. How, I mean, come on, we're from Denmark. Of course we like snowballs. So yeah, it's true. If, if you get one, then yeah. That is true. You, you've got to do something Actually, with it. I literally didn't even know you could select a pile of balls. Right. Oh yeah, this is meant to be a relay, boys. So Dupree, if you want to... Yep. He's yep, not going to use the snowball, if there I know him correctly. Yeah, he's going to he, run. He really wants to win this. Yeah. Mm. He's going to know mm. when to reload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keep an eye on that. It's not going too badly, I have nah. to say. Yeah, he, he wants to... Not uh, quite res levels, but it's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he killing pro players? Makilele, Riss, they're getting owned, just like in the real CS. Yeah, what was mm. your score when you did the game challenge, Magis? I was good, actually. Mm -hmm. Can you remember your time? I was... no. 20 seconds? <laughs> I was... Come to Peter. I made... Come no! Uh, no! The peak! <laughs> and there we go. And we're not going to show you the time. And the reason we're not going to show the time right now is because we're going to reveal the winners of the finals oh. of the Blast Betway Aim Challenge at the Global Finals themselves. So and it's not going to be Glaive. Privilege. It's not going to be Glaive, but no. it's fine because it's, it's a team two game. two times together. So ah, okay. two versus ah, two. Okay. So maybe Dupree made some time up. So I think Lucas, he... Fucked it up. Yeah, he fucked it up a little, just a little bit. Fine. You know, you guys are you're gonna win the global finals. You wanted another team to have a commiseration prize. Is, is that what? Don't jinx you're going it, please. For? Don't say we're gonna win. Yeah. That's, that's like what's that. gonna happen. That's, that's jinxing. Fine. That's not allowed here. Am I not allowed to do that? No. Nope. Okay. Nope. So you're not allowed to say you're gonna win. I. So who's gonna win? Uh, Blast Pro Series here in Bahrain. Astralis. <laughs> no, no, no. You're jinxing it. Yeah. Oh, no, Liquid in IP or face. Okay. I think Liquid. Yeah. You think they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. One. Sometimes. We're going to get just the boys not back us. over. Glaive is just like rocking back in his chair. D Dupree is literally getting loads of snowballs out of a vending machine. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> and there he goes. He gets to fire the balls. That was quite the close-up. And they're, they're coming over. They're, they're de-clipping. They're tethered to a couple of little radio microphones at the moment. So we're just de-clipping them. We're going to get them to come over here and put some headsets on. No, they're, it's a... You've, you're, you're tall. You can survive. You're going to sit on a, a flight case. It's very rock and roll, Glaive. Okay. You know? So pop, pop your headset on. Hello, Peter. Pop a headset on for us. Where's my chair, though? Yeah. Uh, as well as insisting on chairs before they do the interviews. No. Now, uh, we've got a question from the audience. This has come from Twitter. If you'd like to share your questions with us, use the hashtag <sighs> last backstage. And Lando would like to say, how are you guys finding Bahrain so far? Lived here for 16 years. It's only Danny that can answer that question. Yeah, we just we, arrived. We, we just arrived this morning. So. Yeah, I came a day earlier. Uh, my father, my father, my used father? To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my, uh, because I was reading the question as well. Uh, no, my father used to live here. Uh, he was a pilot for Gulf Air, so uh, my some of my siblings are raised here. So I know uh, Bahrain uh, pretty well. Uh, it was 18 years ago since I was here the last time. So. Uh, seems like a lot of things have changed, even though I can't remember that much from from back then. But uh, how can you know it that well then? Because uh, I talk to my uh, mm. siblings, um, and they talk nice about Bahrain. So yeah. it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a nice place, and uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, to spending some some days here after Blast and uh, with my family. So yeah. are you quite surprised to see a Counter Strike tournament in Bahrain? Uh, my family was. Uh, I think it's. I don't know uh, about many that many sports events here. Uh, I know that they host uh, one of the stops in Formula One. So, I think it's good to see sports um, down here. And uh, yeah, I think the only th place that we have been to uh, is uh, Dubai. Um, I used to play there in 1.6, and I know that some of the guys here has also visited. So I think it's good to have esports and Counter Strike uh, here. Yeah, and it, I mean it's it's completely different location to hold a global final as well. So it's quite exciting to, to see Counter-Strike finally come to Bahrain and to be a part of that as well. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about Beijing, partly because, so, I wore an Astralis shirt and I used Zipex's crosshair settings. Now, unfortunately, Zipex is not with us. Um, he's, he's not feeling well, but hopefully he's going to recover. Yeah, he sounds like he's going to recover. But um, <laughs> he's still with us. He's in his hotel room. But, but guys. What? What's going on? You, you want I just, jersey ord? I just, I just if, if you need... If you need an extra, ah, okay. you need an extra okay. player, ah, just I'm someone sure. to, to step in. Like, Are you clutched, right? You clutched I did. them. Did I you did. win the game after against the game? Yes. Yeah, that's true. I remember. Who did you clutch against? Stunner? Uh, and somebody. Somebody. Ah, somebody. Yeah. From Tai Lu. Yeah, exactly. somebody. I remember that. It was on that weird map as well. <coughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, none of us have played it. It was Breach. Yeah, true. All <laughs> oh, right. Mm -hmm. No, but I remember you in the bus the day before. W weren't you looking oh, yeah, at no, the I, map and yeah, like trying to get to know it? And you that's should be cheating, you should be impressed as a coach yeah, though, because I I've am. got the work ethic, just not the skills. So it's fine. You know what, guys? I just thought I just thought you would you would act a little hard, a little bit harder. You know, because at some point you guys are like the Spice Girls of Denmark. There is going to be a Stralis the movie. So <laughs> so you just you just could have pretended to make my dreams come true then. Nah. But instead, no. no. It's not happening. No. There's no reason to lie. It's fine. <laughs> You've ruined it. <laughs> You've ruined my uh. dreams. It's fine. <laughs> Zipex, if you're watching this, though, we, we hope to see you on the stage tomorrow. So please rest up, get well. And to be honest, I hope you're not watching this. I bet He's you're having a sleep. To answer, so. I hope you're having a sleep. <gasps> He's so savage, this one. Yeah, yes. He, he woke up late, had his coffee, and uh, bl blood sugar still no, I was just, still I'm rising. pissed off they didn't answer me for 30 minutes, the whole team, and ignored me. That's so how it so is. I'm just Emil. a bit you sad don't now. Have, uh, on Luco. You don't have WhatsApp, Emil? No, we don't. No? Really? Mm. What? You can download it. It's for free. <laughs> it's for free. Thank you, guys. Here's my number. Put it on the screen. <laughs> are we sorry? Are we soliciting for magic right now? What's going yeah. on? What? <laughs> oh, I see. No, no. Want him to yeah. update his uh, WhatsApp. So yeah. You, don't, you just yeah. don't have WhatsApp. No. No, but it's outdated, so I couldn't see what they were writing. So. So you're literally. It's not just you're antisocial towards me. You're antisocial towards everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. It's wow. a good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, enjoy being good at Counter Strike while you still are. Oh, <laughs> right. and with that said, oh, oh. I've got well, something very I'm fun good to at do. Something, right? Oh. oh, it's fine. I look better than Starless Jersey anyway. Ooh. <laughs> 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 We've got something fun to do. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. so, <laughs> this last year has gone in the wrong direction. So, uh, we've got something nice to do right now. It's fine. So, you know, just... We are going to celebrate someone. No, it's fine. Does that mean I'm muted? Uh, no, no yeah. I'm not. I never mute you. It's fine. Don't worry. I just don't. I have can to leave the show if you want. No, no it's, it's no, fine. I've got no. selective I'm hearing. <laughs> so, we have got to to celebrate someone. And yeah, I just mentioned. Unfortunately, he's not with us right now, so but he is with us in in Bahrain. Yes. Let's yes. He's. It's okay. No, oh, that's a sign. Da da. Yes. Wow. Damn. Nipex. Very good. The Clutchminster. It's deserved. It it's a good. legend. Why didn't I get that big of a picture when I was legend? You got music. That's true. You never yeah. yeah. And I did no, like a, no, a no. big speech. Yeah, that's oh, true. Right. Yeah. So, and Zipex didn't get it a big speech or yellow. confetti. Or gold. It just isn't here. It's gold. It's gold, right? It goes with the eyes. It brings out the eyes. Although now I kind of want to get a marker pen and like, I'm going to I'm gonna leave poor Zipex oh, alone. Gosh. Don't no. touch Zipnix. You, you can bring him over here. Do you I'll want him take, over there? Okay, protect him. I'll take good Protect him from me. When will I become a legend? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, uh, we don't want rain in the I'm not gonna anyway. answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Bah. Listen, we have got chubba chubs if you'd like a lollipop, Magisk. No, thank you. Like when you've been good at the doctors and they give a lollipop. Do they do that in Denmark? No, actually, it was at the hairdresser. So at the hairdresser? Yeah. Did we you not like, get your hair cut? I, I did, but when you were behaving good and sitting still, you would get a lollipop. Oh, we get candy when we do drug tests in uh, <laughs> ESL. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They they pay us with candy. So basically, they <laughs> take you to the doctors, make you give a sample, and then if you give them in exchange for a sample, they give you like a lollipop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I have been. What? <laughs> you got an announcer. Oh, I don't remember. Did you do testing in Odense? Yeah, we did. Yes. Mm. Is Everyone that quite did. common? In the middle of the night when we lost, it was a pleasure. Mm. 3 a.m. Perfect. Yeah, if it's free in the morning. Perfect time to do a test. <laughs> How? Because I I've heard about testing before, but it's not necessarily too widespread yet in esports. I'm sure it will be in the future. How often have you been made to do tests? Is this Almost something? Almost every event. I've done it really? all the same. It's only yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, it's only yourself. Yeah. Oh. I don't it's pretty. They've caught anyone yet? I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. They're still waiting. They're, They're still <laughs> trying to find something. Oh my god. And it's always me, so it's I like always two or three guys. Oh, so they don't do the whole team? Well, this they time they did, but usually it's, it's just you guys. But it's always me. I don't have know. You, if just... Have you ever asked yourself why that is? I don't know. Maybe I look high or something. I don't know. It's not the. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's on it. <laughs> no, know? but it actually, they also tested me at one point. Did I was they? like, I'm they tested me? Are you no me? Oh, I thought it was me. Is it because like, they what? saw you? Uh, they saw you in the standoff at Copenhagen. They were like. Yeah, but he I could end up playing again pro one day. Yeah, yeah. That's no. True. That oh serve God. skills, those serve skills. They yeah, they, yeah, it was the map that was wrong. It was mm -hmm. not before. Listen, I think everyone thoroughly enjoyed seeing you playing Copenhagen. Yeah. Did you Did you boys enjoy seeing yeah, it? Yes. Sonic step in? Yeah, we did. Yes. It was, it was really quite good. fun. But now we have, every day we practice, he's always, oh, I'm so good with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just let me play, guys. Yeah. Every day. I mean, I mean you should let him play. We w we all want to see that. We're I thinking think about it. If we're going to play against Navi, then we'll bring in Sonic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just to get simple. He's no. a terror. Why not? Just yeah. Strike fear into the heart of simple. Now, you guys feeling like the best team in the world again? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. And and, yeah, and what's it like to to be in Australis era part two? I mean, like still we just lost, one, right? Uh, <laughs> error. It's one. not an error. Yeah. That's a long chapter. So is this like <laughs> the first film and it's just like the second half or something? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, you can't... The era 1.5. Well, the first edition is always the best of the movies, right? Mm. Then you gradually get worse and worse and worse. We don't want to create a, a movie series where like a trilogy would like, it just gets worse. So. Mm. We're trying to... Harry Potter, the several films, and it got good by the third one. Uh, it doesn't count because, you know, film magic and everything just kept evolving, so it doesn't really count. Okay. So basically, what you're saying the is the it best bit's be the over. Plot. What are we talking about? Yeah, we're, talking we're talking about, about your era. Are we errors. in? The, are we in your second era? Are we in the second part of your first era? No, we are in the very beginning, small, tiny steps of our first era. So this you're is the toddler age. Yeah. We're, cu we're currently in the, the big plan. Okay, it's only yeah. started now. So essentially, what happened before the last player break was actually more just about building tension. Making everyone super excited to watch them Counter Strike, very yeah. like running up to the Berlin Major. This is all part of the plan, Zonic. Uh, I wouldn't say it was part of the plan. It was like more of a very tough and challenging 2018. 
and then winning the major in the beginning of 2019, people were uh, understandably a bit tired. Mm. Um, so we decided to attend less events to uh, re-energize and then uh, stop a little bit before so we could get a good long vacation and then come back a little bit earlier and then with the main goal of winning the major in Berlin. And obviously we also wanted to win uh, in Cologne, for example. So um, the plan uh, was was uh, was okay, uh, but not uh, executed uh, as planned, obviously. But it was, uh, I'm not... Uh, I'm not uh, regretting anything. I think it was. It has been a great 2019. I mean, you won both majors. Yes. So that's fine. Was, that was the plan. Yeah. Four stars, apart from you. Nah, he's he's, he get, he he's the four in star in himself. Yeah. He is. Uh, and actually, you've just released a book as well. It's in Danish. I haven't been able to read it. No, it's. Uh, I'm uh, actually just Still discussing the now. price. Yes, of course. Sorry, so <laughs> everyone is no. It's. Uh, it's coming out in English. That has been confirmed now. Uh, just had to discuss uh, and find the right person to translate it. Okay. So um, yeah, I can hopefully. Do it for you. Ah, <laughs> you, just, you just run it through Google Translate and take a hundred thousand dollars for it. Uh, <laughs> I, I think he'll just change what the text is. So um, Astralis didn't really exist before I arrived. Yes. I was yes. the key. <laughs> I mean, no. what was was That's it? Actually, a good idea. <laughs> have you have you guys read the book? Yeah. Yep. Well, not uh, fully. No. I'm halfway I, through. Okay. I'm more than halfway through. Are you are you happy with how you come across? I read uh, the ten pages. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I think that um, obviously it's from Danny's point of view, so it's how he has experienced everything. The most exciting part for me was obviously reading reading about the first part like of his life and how he got into CS because we we've known him for some like some time, but we don't really know his story that well. At least I didn't me. know everything. So. Um, that was the most exciting part. We've been a part of the Astralis journey, right? Uh, so we kind of know what we've gone through and everything. So I think everything is really well dis like described. So I just still need the last part. Yeah. I haven't done the last part yet. Yeah. Excited. Have you told him to stop reading until after the year is up? Danny, is that why he's not finished it? No, I think uh, <laughs> after... won't like this part. Don't read no. it yet. After, or I think it was before Dallas, I handed out five copies to them. And then, yeah. We have a lot of long haul flights, you know, and mm -hmm. try to kill time. It's good. It's a good book. Yeah. But I think after they they read some part of it, they can't sleep because yeah. <laughs> it's so exciting. So uh, <laughs> maybe that's why some of them haven't started yet. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit of a thrill ride, Glaive. Mm -hmm. You got a favorite part of the book? I didn't read it. No. So it's fine. not yet. Well, you got Christmas coming up. Exactly. It's fine. You can read your copy and you can give it to someone as a present. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And do you read Magisk? Uh, I prefer <laughs> like uh, audio books. So what are okay. called? It's coming out in audio books. Yeah, so yeah. that's are I'm you actually waiting it? for that. Actually, isn't it already out? No, uh, no, I think that's fake advertisement from some other way. I've no seen it. Yes. DK exactly. Go in there. And okay, is it out? Right. Is it no, out it's there? not out yet. Then why is it? Because like, yeah. listen, if you need, I can I can do a smooth reading voice. Just give me an extract. I can audition. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like That's I can good. get your voice down well. Definitely. If you were yeah. English, and <laughs> we're gonna play a game right now. I bet you can't wait. It's called Skins Unfolded. You'll have played it before. Yeah, the we're emphasis, good at this. Yeah. Well, the emphasis this time around is on the name of the skin as opposed to the gun. You'll get half a point if you get the gun right. But we really want the name of the skin, oh, and it's. Oh, yeah. I'm well, not gonna that, lie. That's this, this is quite tough. The bar's been set very low by the other teams. Okay. I'm not going well, we to tell you your... Taken, right? We have yeah. the vice. Well, we're not... <laughs> I like all the teams have kind of nominated their, their skin specialists, so can the pressure's closer? slightly on the vice. Sure. But I know you can handle that pressure, sure. so you're absolutely fine. He needs to get closer. He can't <laughs> yeah. see. Dupree's taking it super seriously. I come super, here. They're super bad. It's a little you can sit that, 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 that bodes super well for uh, for being a pro count strike player. Yeah, yeah but I mean, like, as long as I'm closer to the monitor, who cares? That's what, uh, Beijing, ah. I walked on stage without my glasses, and I think I was so nervous. I forgot to put them on for the first half of the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's so rough to play with glasses, though, because yeah, you get the like. Yeah, and everything. Yeah, it must, it's like yeah. squishes your head. So. Yeah, exactly. And it didn't make me any better either. <laughs> right, okay. Are we ready? Are you ready at the We're back good. there, Dave? Yeah. We're good. Awesome. Okay, let's play Skins Unfolded. Here we go. That's uh, a new one. Uh, no, no, it's not Pink DDPAT, maybe. You think so? No, I'm not really sure, actually. About Time. This one. Come on, pass. Skip. Pass, yeah. skip. The fuck? Uh, it's a new one. I can't remember the name. Uh, skip. 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 Uh, it's all new ones. Isn't that the one? Is it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Next. Skip. Yeah, and don't feel free to just guess the gun. Just have a guess in case you're right, you know? I, I, I think it's all new. Skip. 
Give us some of the old ones. Oh, that's a deagle. That's a deagle. Uh, uh, yeah. A deagle one. Yeah. Okay. Skip. I don't know. Pink DDAP. T. Uh, DD Path. Skip. Uh, it's a USB. Red Ring skip. of Fire. USB. Uh, Hyper Beast. Hyper Beast. Uh, it's the new Spider AVP web. Emerald Web, I think. Uh, I can't. It's all new skins. We haven't have time to do it because we travel all the time. How many points? To be did we fair, get? that was I. I can't tell you how many points you got. No. But to be from from sitting with all the teams today, that was definitely the most confident I've heard, and especially as that was really hard new skins, and and you sounded like you knew at least a, a couple of them. We know the skins, but it's like nobody remembers the, the name skin names stuff. because it's totally new. I mean, yeah. like, if you've seen it for a while, give us the old skins. We know everything. Yeah. But that's yeah. the thing. I think in the old old Skins Unfolded games, you did you did know them. Yeah, yeah. but it's more fun when you actually... <laughs> <laughs> when you actually win, is it? Yeah, when you yeah. can get something cool. When we win, yeah. It's yeah. totally fun. Yeah. yeah. Sure. We um, might have a chance. I, well, I think you're going to have a good chance. Don't want to jinx it. Being told off by that by you already, Device, for, yeah. for, for you know anticipating that you might win. Um, but you, Device... Earlier on, I was chatting to the talent on this sofa. I was saying, okay, put aside the teams who's going to win here in Bahrain. Who's going to be number one player in the world? And a couple of them, I don't know if you paid them, don't think you have, were saying that they think you're going to be number one. And you've never been number one on the HMTV. I mean, uh, yeah, have you? yeah, of course, and I have never been number one. I've been top five, I think, for a long time now. So, of course, it's like, it's always a little goal to have individual praise as well, but... Um, I think I've said it every time I get the MVP medal at tournaments. It's like you can basically just roll the dice and pick whenever, like whoever in the team that's performing at the same level as everyone. So, of course, it's something that uh, you kind of think a little bit about, but it's also one of the things that only comes when you have team success. And uh, it's just a bonus when you have had team success. So, yeah, of course, uh, there's a chance. I think Sai Wu is a great... Uh, it's a great contender. It's his rookie year. He's been putting up great numbers as well. So I wouldn't be too disappointed if I'm not number one. It, I think like the main feeling for me is always being on the best team. And in my opinion, we are the best team. Oh, very, very diplomatic very answer. Deep. It was. I enjoyed that. I'm kind of, I'm a bit like, oh. And then also I have a little puppy at home. So uh, he's going to make me so happy when I get home. You it's didn't bring the puppy? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> well, I'm unhappy again now. What puppy have you got? A little Pomeranian. You want to see him? Yes, is he fluffy? Yeah, he's so fluffy. <laughs> oh my God, what's he, call what's he called? Ace. Ace. <gasps> that is adorable. So you get the picture of the puppy out and I'm going to get a question from Twitter up on screen. Hang on. Oh my goodness, he looks like he looks like the raccoon from, um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He looks like Rocket. Yeah. But Ace is a better name. Ace, awesome. Ace is a good name. I'm guessing there are some photos on Instagram of Ace. No. But you're going to really put some up later. Yeah, we just wanted him to settle in. And obviously I had to leave. So um, okay. I miss him. But it's all good. Well, well, look out everyone for pictures of Ace on social. Cause it will come at one point. It's definitely going to come. You're, you're a proud dog daddy now. Yeah, it's it's going to happen. Let's, let's take a look <laughs> at the question from Raj Bindi on Twitter. Question for Australis. How did Zipex, Dupree, and Device meet each other, and what made them decide they'll stick together? Dupree? Um, uh, actually, I can't quite remember, I think. On Tinder? On Tinder <laughs> uh, I think Honestly, it was like, like we... Uh, we played in team first, yeah. right? Yeah. So then I played with a couple of guys in Source. Yeah. I didn't start playing CSGO. Peter started playing CSGO. He wasn't really that good in Source. And he started playing with my old teammates. And then... Uh, at one point, the, we all like joined a team together, and me and Peter played together. I got kicked out of that team because I was pretty immature at that point. Like I didn't <laughs> come to the practice times. Then three months later, we started playing again, me and Peter. And then uh, at one point, once he was in the team, he left, and then we brought in Sipix from Fnatic. Yep. And that's basically how it happened, right? Yeah. I think we've just been sticking together ever since. Yeah. And ever since, yeah. yeah, We've played together ever since. What, what do you think that the key to sticking together was? Was it just that you Honestly, were all really it's, good? It's like a marriage, right? There's been, <laughs> there's been a three-way marriage. There's yeah. been times where uh, like people have been almost moving out of the team, you know, and there's been rough periods and everything. But like when you think back, it, it hasn't been... Like, it hasn't been easy. It, it, no. It's kind of random that we're still us three playing together because there has been times where, <coughs> as I said, some of like us have been trying to like move out of the team, so on. So 
it, it's way back. Like the last three years, it's been so like tight knit. So. It's still a honeymoon. No, yeah. <laughs> no. I think it's it's also like having the same goals and having the same ideas how you want to play the game, and in and, and general also that we feel like we're good friends. So not yeah. that the rest of the team is not a good friend either, but if we have to look back at the core, we've always had like a good chemistry when we played, and I guess that's just also what brings you this far. I think the main thing is that we n- like never disagree on things yeah. like the whole idea of how we play of course we disagree of in things in game but mm. the whole idea and perception of how we want to play has always been like very streamlined so it's pretty easy so it's been a case of sometimes there's been some tough conversations maybe a few years ago it's like a midlife crisis you know we've had those and yeah they're like the quarter life yeah, yeah quarter exactly. life thing. <laughs> quarter life. yeah i've definitely yeah. had maybe a few of those because i'm 75 every quarter life <laughs> <laughs> I panic. No, <laughs> do the math. 25, 25, 25. Oh, right. It's fine. I've had a lot of plastic surgery. Now, mm. I actually, you know, uh, Dupree, I, I was talking to um, Tonato uh, Suffix a little while ago, uh-huh. and uh, I was um, I was doing a little interview with him, and he said that you actually told him that he could be a pro player. You were the first person to tell him that. I think that the the, the first uh, encounter I had with this guy was when he was. Um, he was streaming a lot back then, and he wasn't really making a player of himself. And then I randomly joined his stream just because it was like a late night and I had nothing to do. So I, I just checked it out, and apparently his like subscriber alert or was something was was something that I have said or something. So obviously he 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 knew who I was. Then I randomly just commented in the chat, and he just went full teenager and couldn't, couldn't <laughs> he couldn't he couldn't hold it in, and he was just like so excited. And then I think we just casually played once in a while, and obviously the guy had some talent because he he knew um, he knew. A lot about the game and all that stuff, but obviously he's, it's been. Um, oh, it just looks like. Uh, yeah, we're touching each other. Yeah, it's fine. It was um, lovely. And lately, obviously, he's been he's been without a team for some uh, for a while. That the last team I think he played it was heroic. Yes, it was. He's actually <coughs> going to stand in for Voxic at Mouth yeah. Sports. Uh, um, yeah, I think he's but just been a little bit unlucky and not like mm-hmm. really finding the the place to settle in and actually find a place to to keep developing. Um, but I think he has a lot of raw skill and you could definitely see that when he started playing with better players, he also mm. developed as a player. And now I think he's just like, um, he's just found a plateau where he can't really move on because he's having a, having a tough time finding the team that he wants to to develop with. So I okay. think it's just a matter of time before he, and maybe the chance now getting, if there's a good showing with mouse bots, I think there's a big chance that he could actually be picked up by someone and then maybe even developing yeah. further. I mean, you mentioned better players. You mean like Magic's boy? I mean, Magic has always been a really good player. <laughs> yeah. All the time it's I've magic, known him. not magic boy. But you were magic boy back then. Magisk when you play with Nato. Mr. the boy. <laughs> now it's yeah. magic. Now you're just magic. Magisk. Yeah. Pimp, Pimp is keeping Magisk. the Pimp is keeping the old name alive. Uh, we should definitely make it clear that magic boy is dead. Now it's magic boy. He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. He's, He's not gone. Alive. I'm gonna make sure that <laughs> analyst and casters who says magic boy is never gonna have a job again. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, listen, I said it in the context of exactly. when you were young back in the day and unknown. I'm just saying. Everybody's and you played with a team called boy, SDF, yeah, you nerds. We have a lot of power. So okay. Sure Everybody. It. Well, Everybody it's been absolutely power. lovely being part of Counter Strike in 2019. Unfortunately, I won't be returning because. Magic has decided that I won't, and he's 21 and has a lot more power than I do. So it's been absolutely <laughs> fabulous. But you know, let's 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 make my last I'm just professional interview You're go more okay. Welcome to come back next year. Oh, thank you. Next time, say it convincingly. Glaive over in the back there. Mm. I mean, lounge, lounging on the flight case. Is it is it comfortable? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Styling it out. Yeah, it's fine. I want to talk about your new obsession. Now we didn't see it as much in in No Dance, but we saw it almost every single series, if not every single series, over in Arlington at ECS. Yeah. Do you feel like you're totally reset on it now? Like. Yeah, pretty much. I think we are back at the good old Australians again. I mean, a lot of the other teams has been is being so much better now at Nuke. So we have improved a lot ourselves. But with all the other teams being uh, having improved as well, then it's tougher for us to win those games anyway. But uh, I think uh, I think we have improved. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Cash, when yeah. new Cash comes back, you didn't play Cash before. We did mm. a you, little bit. Yeah. A little bit, but it was it was usually your first ban. Yeah. Yeah, like Cobble before that yeah. and Cash. We, um, I think we only played it because of Navi and Liquid or something. Okay, yeah, because it was Liquid specialist Navi, yeah. map, yeah. right? And now Mirage is going yeah. out, so... Yeah, Oops, yeah. I it depends on the map it, 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 it's yeah. replacing, right? But uh, playing seven maps is really like taxing on all the teams. Mm. So uh, it depends on when it gets added and which map it, it's, it's like replacing, I think. 
Mirage. So, Mirage. so if it replaces Mirage, then you don't have to play it because you haven't been playing Mirage for quite a while now. But then it's a good uh, way to like add it, right? Because then you can slowly add it um, and then have the depth. Mm. I think that like EG has right now, they play all Then what map are we not yeah. going to play then if we're going to play Cash? Oh, uh, that's I'll what say. I mean. That we then we can add like then we can add depth if they yeah. remove Mirage because if they remove another map, then you have two new maps. You know, so mm -hmm. you can't have seven maps yeah. at that point, in my opinion. Let's see what happens. Mm. And uh, Zonic, while mm. I have you here, how easy is it to add new depths to a map like Vertigo when changes seem to be rolled out so frequently? I mean, something significant like removing forklift truck, for example, on the A side, that's, that's quite a huge move. I don't think they, they made something that significant in the last change, but they are constantly doing things to it. It's quite annoying, to be honest, <laughs> yeah. uh, because we, um, I mean, I think... In hindsight, or now that we have been playing it a bit, I think it's it's becoming better and better. Uh, but for us, uh, it was it was kind of annoying because now we just found our way and the way that we felt that the map should be played. And then we are the problem is that we are attending tournaments all the time, so we don't have we always like put in a lot of hours, maybe on a, on an individual level or me or some of the players or the whole team in general, just to to if whenever there comes an update, we want to obviously uh, be good on, on it and we put a lot of time into it and then you play a tournament and then you come back home and you sit and find new stuff and then you find out that they have to change it one more time so it's <laughs> but this schedule it's it's kind of difficult so uh, I think it's I think it's annoying <laughs> even though that they make the map better and better each time now <coughs> don't tell me there's an update now there's no update <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I was, I was, was <laughs> okay. okay I feel like I, this this reminds me what we're about to do of what happened in Madrid, where I think Magis just took over the stream because I was just terrible at my job. Um, maybe I still am, some might say. No. I've been interviewing you guys all year. You've had to put up with my questions. So now you have the opportunity to, interview <laughs> to take you. an interview. Yeah, or to interview each other because you can probably think of better questions. So if you've got a burning question for each other or anything you wanted to ask me <laughs> or just ask me something you don't have to want to ask it, then you can. <laughs> One is for Danny, oh. Salim Sorensen. Salim. Can we have an extra week of Christmas break? If you guys win this tournament, of course. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, by the way, just a top tip. You never, ever give up your microphone to your interview subject because they could just run away with it and do bad things. Oh, yeah, but that, that's the whole point of it. Then the interview is over, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, we, we tethered Sonic to his seat. You may pass yeah. the microphone. Yeah, sure. What? If you have a question for anyone, for Frankie, maybe. <laughs> a question for Frankie. So, Frankie, taking into consideration that you were replaced in Madrid and now that you've also had your, your battle with Magisk in this edition of Blast Pro series, uh, back straight stream or whatever it's called, um, how do you feel? No, 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 you can't take it. You just told me, so. I feel like me and Magisk need to work on our relationship. <laughs> uh, when you say relationship, is that something that is underlined, something, you know? A little bit of... The fuck? <laughs> I'm very proud of Magisk. He's like my third son after Vendetta and <laughs> Pimp. Oh. I have a question. How do you feel? That's a weird question. <laughs> I'm just... One question, and that's a tough one. Who is your favorite player and why? That's Ooh. a good question. Good question. Sure. But we all know it's Shipniks. My favorite question... On, uh, my favorite player on any team? Any team. Anywhere. And you have to give a good reason why. Ah, oh, yeah, I have a question. Ooh. Does it, does it even work? Does it, it, no, it's it's working. It's okay. The people can hear us. Okay. This, is, this is really hard. I can't, I can't play favorites. You have to. Ah, oh, favorite to interview or just favorite in general? Favorite player and why. And it can be on multiple Ooh, okay. different ways. See, now I can see Jacob. Jacob's like, why not me? <laughs> um, because he's not can, can, we bring it, can we bring Pip to the stage, please? Mm. Pimp is not a player anymore. He's retired. <laughs> okay. Now, I, okay. Okay, I'm going to wimp out. play for Liquid in case you missed it on his Instagram. What about so, favorite team? Favorite team. Well, I will say, okay, so for my favorite player, because I can't <laughs> say anyone who's sat here right now, because it would be really mean. I'm going to say um, simple, purely because me and him both really geeked out when we met No Tail. <laughs> At Blast Copenhagen at the after party. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so, a Or I can just do the, the fan favorite and I can say Alexi B. What? Why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because apparently he is. According to Reddit, he's my favorite player. So, oh. you know what? Reddit's never wrong. That's true. 
Same with Asian no. TV forums, no wrong. Yeah, I, ne ever, never. I've read so many things. I have learned so many things about myself this year that I Danny didn't had know. A question. Yeah, <laughs> had a question. Let Danny, who's your favorite team? It's my favorite team. Well, listen, the team that's brought me the most luck this year in Beijing, of course, was Astralis. Yeah. So, yes. so right now, in this moment, my favorite team is Astralis. Are oh, you a Manchester City fan? So you change all the time. I am not a Manchester City yeah, fan. You take that back. No, I'm a Crystal Palace fan. Oh yeah, that's you. I used to have sorry, season I tickets. Have to go. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, so you're a Manchester no. United fan? Liverpool? No. Spurs. 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 Yeah. 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 Oh. I agree. Oh God, that was a really ugly face, but it's fine. The moment deserved it. Well, boys, thank you so much for for putting up with me this year. Thank you so much for being part of Plus Pro Series. More importantly, thank you for and having us. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for having us. And before we let you go. Obviously, we've got to bring it back to you guys because we have got some of your best bits from Blast this year. Oh, Ooh, that's so nice. Can I put this on the table? You may. Exciting. You may. Mic drop. What is it? We're going to watch something. Highlights. Oh. For a lot of teams that have had the success that you've had historically, it's hard to keep it ongoing. So how do you keep that fire alive? Hmm. Here we are at the Blast Pro Series South Hollow. The course he goes down for Vice. So powerful. An ace. Team Liquid versus Astralis. Decided to play the final here with an amazing crowd. And a stellar shot from Zemex. A two-piece. Astralis continue to just outclass Liquid here. Nobody can touch these guys. They are not on another level. They are on another planet. Miami, it is a damn pleasure to be standing here amidst you. Astralis down to just Dupree. And FaZe could very realistically be putting them in the coffin. The question mark coming into this event was who will meet Astralis in the grand final. Everything was just not clicking, people misunderstanding each other. They have been eliminated. Spain, we love you! Right now, Astralis is still called them the best team in the world. He's ready for it, another one for the free side! They are undefeated this year. Okay, that's my My God, there is no way they can pass this position. Is this how it ends, Dan? Looking to collect the bomb. We've got Alexi Vyo, and that's it. It is time for Blast Copenhagen to kick off. 12,000 people all rooting for one team. No matter what happens today with the Spartans, it's going to be fine. They may not be in the grand final, but they did put up a hell of a showing today. Experience walking in here, you kind of forget all the, the bad things. Simple doesn't know what's going on. No, it's got it again. It's going down. It's got the whole arena on their feet. The there it is. Ford, he's tossed them up into the air. Your Copenhagen standoff winners, Astralis. I do think Astralis are back. I mean, like, there, there was a lot of lowlights, not highlights. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I should have said the story. Yeah. The story of you guys at Blast so far. The story has not ended yet, though. No. It's, it's anyone's game. Obviously, you guys are the favorites. It has to be said. Not jinxing anything there, because I didn't say you're definitely going to win. Because you just said it there. You hear what you want to hear, Magic. <laughs> now, FaZe, of course have had some inconsistencies but they do pretty well at, at blast and we can't just say it's because of the best of ones things because they've won in the finals as well and they've won twice now and those have been best of three finals both of those times and then of course we have your old adversaries liquid as well they might gimmick pick against you <laughs> Sonic. Yeah, yeah. you prepared for that uh, we, time? Or we might do it this time around oh. who knows gimmick pick oh yeah damn should we should we talk about this no we, yeah. we're just gonna have to wait and see <coughs> yes. yeah let's yeah. wait and see i think that right. veto is like can be one thing the first time i'm expecting uh of course it's not a jinx but like you have to expect coming into this that you will face liquid two times if you want to go through right mm -hmm. in the first game and probably in the final if everything goes as the fair which win and so on um so yeah it can be different both times it's exciting it's always good to play against them i think it's honestly the most fun games we have is against liquid because we know each other so well and we've played each other so many times. Um, it's very competitive. And it's always like very competitive, right? Yeah. And it's going to kick off tomorrow. We're going to get to see you guys play Liquid for the first time here in Bahrain in a best of three. Good luck, guys. We Thank know we know it's going to be super exciting to watch. It's always outrageously entertaining. So if you guys are watching home, do not miss that. It's going to be here on the very same channel we're broadcasting on right now. And if you've got any predictions, make sure you tweet them to us at Blast Pro Series. Guys, thank you for for being part of this. It's been it's been 
amazing to, to spend time with you as it has been all the teams and to just see you guys your, your ups and downs there have been more highs than lows this year sure. and you could end it with a fantastic high here in Bahrain so good luck with that you Thank get you. some sleep Dupree oh, no, no, some no, food no. some Bahrain some food. food I'm actually yes. so excited oh yeah, my god so okay excited. right well report back to me I'm going to be asking on the sidelines what you had for food keep your headset on just a second we haven't gone yet thank you so much you guys for watching thank you so much to the team here at Blast Backstage as well because we've done eight of these <sighs> now and they've been a pleasure to work with so thank you very much and we will see you guys tomorrow for the Blast Pro Series Global Finals 2019. Do not miss it. Otherwise, we're going to have very strong words. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>